Alright guys, I know you're wondering, what is it like to be a dick stud? Well, let me just explain it to you a little bit, you know. Walking in the gas station, men asking to pump your gas. Oh, y'all looking good. What y'all doing? We deal with girls hating us too. Girls don't want to be with you just because you're thicker than them. Why you mad at me because I'm thicker than you? You like girls too. You don't want men, so why you mad at me that I'm thicker than you? I'm walking around with my ass jiggling. I know that women, straight women, gay women, don't matter, women in general, that we are known to hate ourselves. Well, men hate themselves too. They see Ryan Seacrest on TV and, and, and uh, J Jason Derulo and be like, oh, I wish I had that body too. Don't get me wrong, men do that too, but women are way more like, oh, oh, like, ugh, I hate my body. I hate that I have stretch marks. I hate that I don't have flawless skin like them on TV because that's what society wants you to do. But for the women who just, for some reason, want to get thick and just can't, I'm telling you my tips. I'm thick. I just got on a scale. What did it say? 148? I'm only 5'5". Five five. You know my ass thick. They didn't like for me. What do I do? How did I get so thick? I <laughs> get that all the time. How do I gain weight? How do I gain weight? This is for the people who want to gain weight. For the people that want to lose weight, once I lose, it's, when I go back to the size I want to be, it's really like 135, 130, because I don't want to get too skinny, because I'm going to look like a crackhead. But, um... I'm gonna do a how to lose weight. This video is about how to get thick, basically. How to get thick. I'm gonna start from the beginning of the day to the end. You wake up, brush your teeth, wash your face. I don't believe in eating three meals a day because some people don't got it like that and they still survive. Not only that, um, back in the day, like back, back, back in the caveman days type shit when we was having to kill lions and shit to eat. Our ancestors, when I say we, I'm talking about ancestors and shit. When people you had to kill lions to eat, you think they woke up in the morning and say, oh, let's eat breakfast. No. They waited till they got hungry. Your body naturally needs to get hungry. I believe that. Like, you have to really want to eat. Um, if, if as soon as you wake up, you want to eat something, that's great, though. If you want to get thick, that's great. I never did that. Um, everybody's body is different. So, just because this help, this is how I do it and I'm thick, don't mean you're going to automatically get thick. But I believe that this can help a lot because what I eat is uh, a lot of fatty stuff. I'm off topic. Damn, what do I do? Okay, I wake up. Boom. The first thing you should eat, something with carbs. Something that's a little fatty, like, for example, if you like waffles, pancakes, do that. I, I usually uh, make, a, I buy those biscuits, make turkey sausage, because I don't eat red meat or nothing. Make turkey sausage, make an egg, because eggs are high in protein, but they can give you, they're filling too. I eat like, my, make my own little biscuits, sausage, egg, and cheese, turkey, sausage, egg, and cheese, I eat that. Like, eat something that's a little fatty, put some cheese on that, because cheese is fatty. Don't just wake up and eat yogurt and fruit. That's if you're trying to lose weight, even though yogurt is still not all that. But don't wake up and eat fruit and yogurt. You can have a side of fruit. You, have, you can have a fruit cup, but eat something with carbs in it. Pancakes, biscuits, biscuits and gravy, something that's like that. That should keep you full for about two to three hours, maybe even four or five. Then, boom, it's lunchtime, but who the fuck... Who the fuck eat three meals a day? Let's be honest. I what I do is I go eat some chocolate, <laughs> some chocolate chips and crackers, cookies and cream, Hershey's, uh, Kit Kat, uh, Milky Ways. Uh. I eat snacks till I'm full, which is not good. But if you want to gain weight, this is what you do, guys. Sugars will stick. Sugar turns into fat. I have a binge eating problem. I don't know how to stop sometimes, so that's why I eat a whole bunch of chocolate till I'm full or something. But if you don't have a binge eating problem, do not, please don't create one. Because you can all, you can easily create one. Um, and I don't recommend it because it could get out of hand and you can probably gain more than you want. But if you want to be get thick, I'm not saying binge eat, but eat until you're full. Because you got to know when you're full though. When your stomach start hurting, of course you're full. But you got to stop before your stomach start hurting. Because when your stomach start hurting, you, ate, you overate. Then when you're full is when you no longer desire to eat. Eat until you no longer desire to eat. And some people are like, oh, that's after two bites. You're not full, though. You're not full. You just, your stomach, you know your stomach shrinks up after you keep not eating. And it expands if you're one of the type of people that overeats. So your stomach can expand to like 20 times its size type shit. So if you're so used to not eating like that, you're going to trick your brain into thinking you're full. You're not full after two bites. Eat, eat that shit. Eat it until you're full. Okay, guys? Eat it until you're full. And then... After that, after you're done eating those snacks until you're full, boom. Now it's the what? Dinner time. All right, my grown ass, what would I eat for dinner? Shit, probably some nachos, pizza, something high in carbs again. And when, when you eat at night, make sure you're eating before you lay down. And the reason why I say this is because if you're trying to gain weight, 
you go to sleep, your body every, slows down everything. Meaning it's slowing down your digestive uh, system. It, uh, whatever it's called, guys, I, I dropped out. I'm saying, like, eat, like, an hour or two before you go to sleep. To keep on gaining weight, just keep doing that. So, like, eat stuff that, that's processed, like, that will make you thick. Once you keep gaining weight, whatever weight you feel like, okay, this is this is good. Um, start being a little more healthier. Go on walks if you're not working. Even if you are working, still go on walks. Um, I do sit-ups and shit. That's probably why my stomach not big. So, sit-ups is a good thing to do, I guess. I don't care if you're not trying to get a six-pack. Do sit-ups because once you get thick, some stuff do uh, attract here, especially sugars. So, so you got to do sit-ups and um, crunches and stuff. And like I said, I walk. I never did squats a day in my life. My, my butt's just like that because God made me like that. So, I'm not saying do squats, but definitely eat because that stuff will... That type of sugary fats will attract your stomach and your ass. So, do sit-ups. Nothing for your butt. Your butt's gonna automatically get fatter, and you know, and you will be great. You gonna be, you gonna be good. But regardless of what size you are, love yourself regardless because God took His time on you, and it's kind of like a slap in His face if you like, oh, I hate myself. Even though it's better said than done, cause I'm don't, I'm not sitting here and saying like I love myself, cause I be, I don't like everything about me. That like damn, why the fuck? I don't care if you are skinny. I don't care if you are chubby, fat, whatever, whatever you are. Like, love yourself, like. Come on now. But that's my video today. Love yourself. Keep God first. Tomorrow's not a promise. I tell love when you love him and that's that. I'm out to peer. I'm gonna try to upload every day, but if I upload every day, there might be more shit. But y'all be watching. Who's your favorite YouTuber? Oh, okay. Oh, okay.